How you doing, sir? Great. You wanna see what we're passing out to everybody? Thank you, sir. So number one cause of death in Texas, over 60,000 abortions every year. And the church doesn't speak up or do anything about it. So in fact, this church is a pro-choice church. Um, they're okay with abortion. They don't, of course, don't want it to happen, but if, if somebody wants to have an abortion, they won't call it sin, it's not murder, you know. But it is an innocent life. Every child is created in the image of God, right? Of course. So we should defend the innocent. Like James 127 says, true and undefiled religion according to god is defending the helping the orphans and widows in their time of distress right over sixty thousand abortions in texas alone every year i mean it's like you don't want to come worship with us um well not today because we're demonstrating but uh but it's yeah. but it's the, this is the day the lord has made this is the day we're supposed to we'll to uh this is the day for the lord we're supposed to worship in our community with our community whatever community that is do you yeah. have a church home yes we do we do Good. church home yeah Good. where's your church home it's in our home we do church home we have a home church so but you know you God, have other folks that come come with i mean does yeah. your community outside of your immediate family yeah Good. yeah yeah Good. Yeah. yeah we praise jesus and you know believe uh believe what the bible says and take the word of god seriously and you know every day is the day of the lord every day the lord made us or created right and every day we're supposed to follow him and do what he says of course of course but he said aside one day where our focus is is on the lord which yeah. is the blue laws and all the other stuff we've got that's trickled down through our society right right so is yeah. it saturday or sunday um the lord wasn't specific which day it is so the jews have it as saturday right most Christians believe it to be Sunday. Uh, I believe God is is big enough that He wants to make sure that you're setting aside time for Him. Absolutely. But, but yeah. when you do it, that's based on your schedule. Because all He really wants is what a relationship with us, right? Because right. He loves us. Because right. we created us in His own image. He wants us to repent well, and to be obedient and follow Him, right? He wants a relationship with right. us. And obviously, if this happens, he doesn't have that relationship, and it kills him, and it, it hurts him deeply. I get yeah. that. What did he say about it? He said, but I can't even imagine, like, it never even entered my mind it, it that people would do this. It can't enter his mind, because sin is a, is a distinct, distinct chasm between holy and flawed. But it did enter his mind when he saw his people doing it. Uh, he's omniscient. He right. knows everything that's going to happen, right? Right. But he didn't create dogs that would would come and wag their tails and sit beside him. He created people in his image, right. and he gave them choice. Why? But why did he give us choice? Free will. So he gave us free will, so we could choose whether or not to serve him, which to is show his ma majesty which is, which and is greatness. The biggest, and greatest thrill for God, right? right. When we choose right. to serve him. Yeah. That's what makes his day, right? right? That's what gets him up in the morning. Right. Yeah, and understand. so when we don't choose God, it hurts him deeply because how much he loves us. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. um, well, what does Christianity so, look like in a culture where the number one cause of death in, in our culture is child sacrifice? What, what should Christianity look like? One of the things God has created is diversity amongst the peoples right. because he's given us choice and yeah. no the, the, the choice to choose him is a great choice is it sin not to choose him um the, it is sin to disobey god absolutely we all know it is and yeah. he also says in the bible we're all sinners yeah. and the only way we can be holy is through him we can't get there ourselves no how i agree 100 no percent. there's no one here anywhere anywhere here who doesn't need him right yeah you can't we, get to heaven without christ without him no yeah i and agree and and he but we have the greatest king ever in the israel's history i agree <laughs> did horrible things they all they all screwed up. They're and all the men. Yeah. It's in the Bible is why. To show us 
not to follow men, that we should follow Christ. But, the, Christ but, should but be our to king. show us that what really matters is faith and action. But it doesn't right. mean that all of us won't have our problems. No, I agree. All I'm not arguing with you on problems. that. We all have our problems. All that's I'm why saying we, is, that's why we need God. All I'm saying is, this is legal in our town, and we don't cry out and oppose it. Like, we should make it illegal to kill children. And I'm being a voice for the voices. I'm just pleading okay. with people well, to now, say. Now let me get into that. Let okay. me get, so what did Jesus do in his three years of ministry? Yeah. Now he overturned. He overturned tax chain, tax. Uh, he overturned tables in the temple because it just really ticked him off, right? Because he saw the focus was on these guys making money and profit off of the flock, trying to mm -hmm. do what they saw in the Torah. Yeah. And so the focus was jacked up, right? Right. Yeah. So, but, and Jesus did sermons on the mount. Mm -hmm. He did, he, he preached by the, sh the he sea. He called people to repent and to follow. But basically what he did was he walked among us and he got down with us. He picked 12 dudes who were kind of oddballs, right? Mm -hmm. They were young. Tax collector, you name it, right? I mean, he picked dudes who simply would faithfully do what he said right. and follow him. Right. Because what he wanted to set an example was it doesn't matter where you're from. No, I agree. I agree with you 100%. Him. Yeah. But, but his focus was not in telling the Roman Empire how bad they suck. His focus was on creating human connections one oh. by one and showing and displaying God's love. Well, he actually said it more succinctly. He said, uh, when they said, what's the greatest commandment? He said to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, all right? Yes. And to love your neighbor yes. as yourself. We're not loving our neighbor as ourselves. We haven't failed to be pro-life. We failed to be Christian because we don't care and do anything to oppose this. Wait, but our neighbor is not one specific set of population. Our neighbor is all of them. Everyone. Right. So we got 60,000. You know, in America, more babies die every year from abortion, child sacrifice, than every war America's ever fought I, I, in. I'm not, I'm not, than I'm ever not, fought I'm in. not disagreeing with that. So why aren't what godly I, men standing up and opposing it, making it illegal? If it's illegal to kill one year olds, to like throw them in a bat of chemicals that kills them, like what we do is we throw chemicals into the womb and it kills the baby. What I'm saying though is Jesus chose a different path to, to change hearts and minds. That's what I'm telling you. What I'm saying is Jesus walked among the right. folks. We're not going to, to the government right now and saying you have to change this law right now because judgment begins at the house of the Lord. So we go first to godly men and say, Why look. Why you join our church? and create relationships with us and start building that network through your passion. Well, you can do that. No, what I'm are, saying, is there what? nobody there that reads the Bible that understands what the Bible says about defending the innocent, not making any iniquitous decrees to um, to uh, um, take care of the, the widows and orphans? Sir, that's offensive. Oh, actually it's the truth, sir. Yeah, it, it's, actually, it's the truth. You're a pro-choice. This is a pro-choice church. church. United Methodists are pro-choice. You are a pro-women pastor church. You go against the word of God, and I'm listening to the stuff that you're spewing out to him, and I'm standing here being very yeah. It is to the United Methodist Church um, belongs to the uh, religious coalition for reproductive choice. All right, they are a very like like your members. If you polled them, half of them go here because they are a pro-choice church. I, I bet, I would bet at least half of them. Let, 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 let me let me give you my opinion. I've I, I have been Presbyterian and I've been Methodist. Depending your on your pastor actually stood whoa, whoa, out. Whoa, 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 wait. Yeah. While we were out doing this, and he stood out in support of abortion. Your pastor. Yeah. Mine, yeah. Your pastor. And, and you know what sign he wait, held wait, up? Wait, 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 wait. He held up a sign that said, give more. Like, if you give more, that, that's good. Wait. This, this is my concern. Uh -huh. Okay? You guys are passionate. Very passionate. And that's good. Okay? Because I'm going to leave this institution 
this 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 discussion here and i'm gonna pray for you guys thank you okay good, yeah. pray for can them you, too well, okay <laughs> can, can i finish yeah, yeah 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 i'm gonna pray for you because we're all people of god and he loves each one of us the exact same amount mm -hmm. okay we may not love each other the same but he loves us the same now when you start talking about um, church organizations, about you know right. the Holy Catholic Church, the, Ho the Roman Church, the Presbyterian, the Methodist, the, you pick one of the Baptist groups that exist, right? I mean, there's there's hundreds of of, of church groups, okay? What you will find, we don't know. of us exactly what the 26 or 39 principles that the Methodist Church or the Catholic Church has said we believe okay one of the things the Methodist Church is really good at is saying you are defined by four things it's your experience and it's these other three things it's called the Westland quadrilateral and we each individually decide what's going to go down. And while, while Billy will say one thing, and he'll stand for one thing, and we need a leader to stand for something. And we have a church that tells us stuff. It's the same thing with our federal government. We're all Americans, but do we all agree with everything that the federal government stands for? No, but we choose to be here, and we are citizens of this, of this country, right? We're not, but just because we're citizens of this country doesn't mean that we all agree for all those things. We've just chosen that this is the best place for us at this time. And if we didn't like it, we can move. We can leave. Right. Unlike Korea, we can leave. Yeah. And we can also oppose it too, right? I mean, wait. We can oppose wait. killing this There's child. Different ways to oppose. Right. There's no, I, I agree. Way. I agree. But being apathetic being in a culture that's apathetic like if they were actually killing every child every other child that went to sunday school today people would do something about it right they would do something about it if it was a one-year-old they would do something about it but because it's in a mother's womb your church organization can actually post papers saying they're okay with abortion that they're okay with it that it, it that it's not murder that it's okay you know and what we say is because I don't belong to a Baptist or I didn't sign any contract with the church or nothing like that. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, you know, and you can quiz me on my beliefs to see if I'm a Christian. But, I don't need to. but you, Jesus says I, I to oppose I, evil I where you're coming from. And, yes. and godly men should stand at the gates. You know, you know in Jeremiah seven, I know it's the old Testament, but it's still I, the full I'm gospel. I'm teaching Isaiah to the kids today. Yeah. So in okay, Jeremiah seven, Jeremiah stood at the gates of the church, right? The temple at the time. He didn't go in. He stood at the gates. And you know what they was what they were guilty of doing at the time? Child sacrifice. And not opposing it. They weren't opposing it. So Jeremiah, if you started Jeremiah 7 and read, you know, Jeremiah, God telling Jeremiah to go to the gates and to, and to preach against this. Um, you know, some repent and some don't. But you know? Isaiah's big problem was idolatry and that the Israel, the nation of Israel and the nation of Judah were, had turned away from God and were making themselves God. Right, and you don't think we have that problem in Texas? No, the reason it's in the Bible is because it's human nature. Right. Because of, because of free will. Right. It's always gonna be an issue. Right, so we it's have, yeah. Never, it's never gonna go right. away, but it, is everything it's turning right. away from god and no i yeah i understand every which way i understand and so what he wants is to put him first because if he puts right. if we put him first everything else gets solved right and i don't think that happens here in texas and the fruit of that is look how many abortions we have every year in texas that go unopposed the religious leaders don't stand up and oppose it and the other thing is look in texas we have over thirteen thousand kids in foster care waiting to be adopted but nobody wants them because they're not babies so guess who's adopting them the gays and lesbians those are the ones adopting them so like right now like if you all of a sudden you were convicted and you said oh man i got a big house you know i only got one kid uh we should uh look at we should practice james 127 
we should do that so you're going to go now take classes to foster to adopt all right easiest way to do it you would sit with gays and lesbians and all your training messages not christians well they would be christian gays and lesbians some of them but you know but they're god's people too and you know they're not and, god's and, people they're not god's people god created all people but if you choose to um oppose god you're not god's you, you're not one of god. you go to hell you don't go to heaven you're you're a child of satan now now that's that's where you're in my view is we're, we're gonna have to so gonna, everybody goes to heaven i didn't say that well, if you don't go to heaven, God created all of us in His image, and He gave God, us. Children. I agree, including this child. And and remember the guy on the cross next to Jesus? Mm -hmm. He didn't know God until the last second. And where did he go? Yeah, he went to heaven. Right. Yeah. He accepted God. But he accepted it, God. But it, he didn't but, oppose him like the other but, guy. But it did, doesn't mean we throw out people in our society i'm not saying we throw anybody whoa, whoa, whoa. out you just did you just no died. well no what no. i said is they're not wait, children of god my children of god follow god they do what god says well, they obey god they so hear his voice and they know his voice to these people who aren't children of god? give them the gospel preach it to them preach to them they should they they are just as valuable to god as you and me i mean i was a decrepit evil wicked man all right that's not how jesus turned that's not how jesus turned people around he did it by he didn't walking, give them the gospel he walked amongst them he demonstrated he called them to repent he, he gave them the did, gospel I gotta demonstrated go the street, gospel. <laughs> it's okay that's what he did he he demonstrated he gave, the gospel he walked, right let's demonstrate let's demonstrate the gospel and live i'm not them. saying be mean to him beat him kill him no, I, I didn't say beat him and kill him and be mean to him but he did it he didn't go to the temple every week and preach no he, he did until he started kicking him out he did go to the temple he, he's been there a couple of times but he did his work and what happened when what happened when he went to the temple they kicked him out or tried stoning him of course they did okay so because, you stopped going to the they temple because it's choice right so and he loved him anyway. All I'm saying is the fruit of Texas, the fruit of the land, is that number one cause of death is child sacrifice. And we have 13,000 kids in foster care, like these kids right here, like all these kids that people don't want to adopt, that are valuable, created in God's image, but they rot are those in, kids foster in foster care. care. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, and, and they're adopted now. You, you, you There's know, six of them, two sibling groups. Seriously. Why don't y'all have signs that say that? That's a great story. Well, because no, no. because this is our Holocaust. You know, this is why, why, but, this is but, ten but, times that, worse than what Hitler that, did. That's a message that needs to get out. It does get out. That's a great message. It, it does wait, get wait. out. I just told I've, it to I've you. I've seen you guys. I've seen you guys over at Wakeland, and uh -huh. I've seen you guys over uh -huh. at that. I never knew that message. If, if, I see Hitler. Right. That, that sends a very distinct right. message. Right. Okay? This is 10 times worse than what Hitler did as far as numbers. Over what 60 saying, million. But, but that message is a message of fear. Well, this you should be afraid. You should be afraid, this though. This is a message of hope. Why don't you, why don't you spread I, the message I of hope? I do spread that. I, if you spent five minutes looking us up online, you would see the story, their story. Really? But if I see Hitler, I don't want to give you five minutes. That's well, what I'm saying. that's up to you. No, what I'm saying is that... But Are we not as guilty I as Hitler? I to you because I wanted to find out about your organization, and I yeah. thank you for your time. Me too. I appreciate but your what time. What I'm saying is, that's such an awesome story. Yeah, but you know what? If everybody knows about this story, I mean, they already know. Literally, they already know that we have orphans in the land that are being abused. Your pastor knows this. They are ready to be adopted. What I'm saying is that's a great story. I know. I believe it's a great story, too. It's a fantastic story. I wish they got out. Well, you can tell people. I will. Okay. <laughs> I hey, will. my name is Todd, by the way. You're who? Todd. Hi, Todd. I'm Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Good to meet you, man. Likewise. But, uh, um, but yeah, everybody I talk to, get they get that story. Yeah. I, I give them that story. But I mean, when I see Hitler in the Holocaust, I mean, look, I've, I've read about it. I, I know I know more than the average person about right. about some of that. Um, and it's, it's horrible on so many levels. Aiden, you have to get off the sign. You know, but 
part, the whole reason why the Holocaust existed was because that country was already primed of fear and hate. Right. If, we have the if, same if, problem. If, they had, if the anti-Semitism <laughs> hadn't been as strong in Germany at that Hitler could never have done that in the UK. He and, could never right. have done that in Russia. Right. If the Christians have would have stood up in Germany, he Poland. couldn't have done it. All right. If the Christians, like Bonhoeffer, if men instead of just Bonhoeffer, if the whole church rised up, Hitler would never have gotten but, the success. But the night of the long nights, there was a lot of good reasons why people were afraid. I understand. Of what yeah, happened I know. The brown church and the so why uh, is why is there? 10 times more babies killed in their mother's wombs in America than than all the Jews were killed in Germany. 10 times. Why do the American people still not rise up and oppose it? Um, Cuz they want it. And they don't care. Like care is a verb, right? They don't care. Like people say, "Well, I'm pro-life." Okay, what do you do to to make abortion illegal? Nothing. That's what people do. Nothing. We you know there's four Gospels of what he did. Yeah. And we take those and we try to remember what he did as setting an example for us and then follow it and do God's work. That, that's not what's happening in our culture, though. We're, in our culture, child happened. sacrifice it's is being murdered. It's not what happened in Isaiah and Jeremiah either. Right, and what happened? What did God do to those nations? <laughs> and then he saved them. Yeah, but he destroyed them. He wiped out generations. He, he made them wander him. around for 40 years in the desert. He exhibited judgment. Right. Yes. He'll judge us and you. And he will exhibit judgment yeah. again. He, that's, yeah. that's, the, that's the way it works. And all we're saying is, is we're trying to be a voice for the voiceless. All right. And we're trying to wake people up. And judgment starts at the house of the Lord. And that's all we're saying. We're not, we're not, I, I'm not even saying you guys are evil, wicked people. I'm not saying that. Well, no. You, <laughs> I'm saying, look. You are. You are not. You are not. But but the but the, the the Hitler sign. I'm just telling you honestly. I love this message. Yeah. The Hitler sign. That there's there's a connotation there that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. Which is why you chose to use it. Right. Whether or not. I feel like. It's going to get your message out. You do. It does. And, we get girls come out and tell us. About it and yeah. I get it. We get girls tell us they're not going to have an abortion now. So we get that all the time. We get that out of the high schools. We get that, you know, we get that out in front of the churches. We get people going, I had no idea. Well, yeah, but Jesus, there were people who repented. Just because Jesus saved people and repented didn't mean they didn't turn back. Well, that's true. We yeah. all know that we all, I mean, David, well, there's a parable David of the, was, of the David seed. More faith than just about anybody else, and he pulled some pretty wicked screw-ups. Oh, definitely, Dude. and he was a man after God's own heart. No, he was the example <laughs> in the Bible of a, of a man after God's heart. Well, Jesus was our ex real no, example, of, though, of that we're supposed man, to follow. Of a man. Yeah, of a man. He yeah. was the, well, Jesus was a man, too. Jesus but... were the two best examples, and neither one of them right. both have huge warts. Right. Huge. Because we need well, God What about this sign? We need God all the time. Right. Well, what about this sign? What about you in, a, in this culture that we live in? What I'm saying is I make my difference in there. With, but, with, but we don't need it, a difference it, in it, there. It, we need it, a difference out fresh. here. Wait. We need a difference out here. <laughs> that's what I believe that's what Jesus did. Is he went in and met the people where they were and built the relationships. I don't know how you can build a relationship. He didn't do that. He didn't sit. By. He didn't sit in a temple and build relationships. He walked around. He found twelve people, and, he, and none of them were in the temple. I don't think. But but he, he said, "Follow me." Right. Yeah. He didn't tell him to repent. He said, Follow "No." He did me. say repent. He well, did. The, no, when he first no, started his message. He got him though. He got him by saying. Me, and they dropped their nets and they right. followed it. Well, so, four of them dropped their nets. So God has four, given us two like things. Four right. But but what I'm saying is he built those relationships with those guys. And he, right. he picked the tax collector. But he talked to everybody in the town squares. Well, he yes, went and did because he loved And that's what we're doing. And he was building relationships. We have relationships with people. 
we do that we don't like okay we don't know we're not relational at all we're not that but jesus did all those things and it's good to do all those things it's good to like stand on the top of a mountain and just talk to everybody even those that he's not in relationships with he did but he that fed them too. well if anybody needs to um have lunch i'll i'll feed them no, I, I get it i get it I, I... doug you've been you, you've helped me out I, I know a lot more about your organization than i did and, and we're not an organization by the way there's no 501c3 oh i'm not you saying know. you're a tax organization okay but just like a church is a group of people uh-huh you're an organization because you guys organize to come yeah. fulfill a mission. Yeah, we're just Christians, right? But, so but you organize to fulfill a mission, right? Yeah. yeah. That's all I'm saying. You're yeah. an organization because you guys have a bond. Yeah. And, and you guys lift each other up. If that lady over there is having a problem, I feel pretty certain yeah. that you're praying for her. Oh, yeah. You're an organization. Anything else she needs, yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. And that's and that's good. Or that, yeah, that, Christian, that's what Christians are supposed that to do, right? Makes God happy. Yeah. That's what Christians are supposed to do. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's that's all um that's it's it's no different than the guys that were cruising up and down the beach when I was at uh, spring break. You know, right. drinking beer and they're like, repent. God, I'm like, hey, yes, I'm a Christian, but I'm on spring break. <laughs> yeah. And and you know, yeah. why don't you go on a mission trip and help somebody out and build a bond? Because I don't know. Well, you should do both. Gonna, I, don't, I don't know how many bonds you're going to be effectively build when you know. I was I wasn't in search of God. I was in search of free beer at the time. Right. right? But you can you, know? you can prick people's conscience. You can make them think. They can lay in bed and go. That guy was saying was true. I mean, I know I had yeah, I've yeah. had people come out here and try to kill me. But, but what I'm saying is Jesus was. We had, we had a guy who was dying, he was dying of a, of a horrible disease, and he started off as a preacher, 4,000 people, okay, he had this church, and it wasn't Parkinson's, but it was something where he lost the ability to, to lead them. Yeah, home. I heard that, I heard this story, yeah. And then, you know, he became like, met yeah. a guy in a bar and, and like mentored him, and he said that that was more rewarding yeah. than preaching to 4,000 people. I don't remember his name, I wish yeah. I did. I heard the story, yeah. You know, and and, and it's right because you know ministering to four thousand. That's not that's a not, pastor. And look, <laughs> we're all God's people, and we all choose to do it differently. And so, Doug, I don't have a. Why I don't? Well, the, why I don't use this method yeah. ever? I got no problem with you using the method, right? I mean, because we're all His people. So, hey, you're Doug. I'm gonna pray for you, Todd. I'm, Sorry, Todd. <laughs> it's all right. I got the one syllable. I'm Lauren, uh, and I go in there. Um, now, I really don't believe that just because the United Methodist Church stands for something, or the just like when the church splits over pick right. an issue, because we're always split. Baptists split over and, abortion. You know, well, there's there's pro-choice well, Baptists. My and, grandma mm -hmm. grew up in a town of a thousand people with four Baptist churches, because there were four families that couldn't get along. <laughs> okay. Ridiculous, right? But but Horrible. what I'm saying is, yeah. you know. We, we join this because we think it's good for us in our faith journey. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean we know what the 26 principles of Methodism are or care. Right. You know, because what we think we care about is relationship with God and Jesus. Right. But right? but you probably, you know... Now, are we influenced by the, by, by the, yeah. the church politics? Yeah. Yes. And you give and, them money, and, you know. And, yes. And we're influenced by the minister who is a son of God and is flawed and we ask this flawed person to lead us no different than the government i don't care if you're an obama fan or a trump fan or neither one i think we can all agree that got issues yeah so you know david had issues and he was the best leader the israelites ever had right so you know that's where we have personal responsibility to follow god regardless of what right. it is but we are going to be influenced by folks that have agendas and Satan right. because he's real sneaky. I mean, Satan, Satan doesn't just right. try to get somebody who's God-fearing to go out and yeah. murder. He gets you to sleep late. He gets you to say yeah. a white lie. He, he, he works in the margins. No, I, 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 I understand. I understand. And, and, yeah. and this is a result of working in the margins. Right. I get it. Right. Um, but I feel like going here helps me follow God. Yeah. 
you know? No, I, I know you go there. And I think you doing this helps you follow God. Yeah, I'm being obedient. That's what I said. I feel that that's yeah. helping me, and you feel that this yeah. is helping you. Right. And, and it's I, what you're called yeah. to do. I'm not, I don't think it's you're so going me. there because you think it hurts you. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. Oh, yeah. So, hey, thanks yeah. for spending the time. Yeah. I'm waiting for Sunday school, but I got to go. <laughs> All right, good job. Thanks, man.